So please make me understand whatever you're telling me. Because I literally don't understand. I, I travel in different countries. This is not the only country that I'm traveling. I don't need to understand what's happening. Just like a normal content creator, when you get in a city, you must do this something we call shooting and show the city how it looks like and exploring. So for me, we were just coming from a, a certain place and I saw people and I thought, why not? I need to show my people how this country looks like and how this Bunjumbra city looks like. Little did I knew the police were coming after me. But luckily enough, Mr. Ngenzi, Africa, my babe, came and told me that. Who? Yes, now fear was all over really? my body. I didn't know whether to shoot, whether to stop, because I was not doing a bad thing. But I had to wait for them. Looking back, there were more than six police officers who invaded me. Let me tell you guys. Sorry? Sorry? Today, huh? Okay, fair bad. It's the Oricura Cora. Bad Okay, I'm a content creator. I travel every place. I don't know. Do you understand? I, but I don't know. I'm not. Okay, will you please understand? Talk a language that I can understand. So they thought that maybe I was carrying something that was good in my bag, and of course, they had to do the searching using the technology that they use. And of course, because I'm in a country that doesn't belong to me. I had to let them do their work. You want to see my bag? No, no, no. It's not been. No, no, thank you. I'm a content creator. What else? This the passport that I have. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I I travel in different countries. This is not the only country that I'm traveling. I don't need to understand what's happening. Where's the MC? I don't understand whatever you're telling me. Come on, I'm a Kenyan, I'm a content creator. I travel all the world. And I know that I'm supposed to be from here. I don't understand. So please make me understand whatever you're telling me. Because I literally don't understand. Yes, at this moment, I was really scared because I didn't know why and I didn't know how and what was following next. Again, um, the reason I was still, I was still filming, it's because in case of anything would have happened to me, I would have released this video to show whatever was happening. Also, my babe was there talking to them and trying to convince them. And luckily enough, I don't, I didn't understand their language because remember Burundians speak in French. It's a, 
country that was colonized by French. And uh, they also speak in Kirundi. That's their common language. Yeah, so we were just waiting here. He was, Genzi Africa was communicating. The reason why I'm, te- I'm calling him Genzi Africa, it's because, guys, I want you to, that name to stick to the uh, to your minds and you go subscribe to his cha- YouTube channel. He really helped me on that day. So he was talking to them and he said, we'll be taken to the chief officer. Let's go, guys. Yes, now, guys, we were taken to the chief officer. Um, I, I think it's the sergeant or probably, I don't know, not the OCS, but the overseer, I, I forgot his name. And he, he listened to our case, the guys were there, we were waiting for us outside, there were more than six of them, as you have seen. Six of them, more than six of them. He was listening to us, unfortunately, uh, we were discussing and discussing and discussing issues, we didn't know what was happening. I really didn't understand whatever was happening at this time. Um, uh, my camera was still on, I didn't know, as you can see, still shaking. Uh, Fongenzi is still speaking and talking to them, you can listen a little bit. As he's conversing with the officer, so they were talking, they were exchanging words, not in a bad way, but he was, the, he was trying to make the officer understand, and also himself, uh, the officer was trying to make him understand the reason is why we were arrested. But these mini police were very tough, very hard on us, very hard on me. Luckily enough, the reason is why it didn't bother me a lot is because I didn't understand the language and I was not doing something wrong. So guys, yeah. so guys after conversing with the chief i don't know if it's the chief or the inspector after conversing with the chief inspector um, the guy was really good to us, very understanding as a parent or as a as a human being. And um, he requested for our cameras, and because he wanted to do the search or do do whatever, know whatever you are doing. So like he went with the cameras with uh, for uh, we, he went with the cameras to the higher now authority, but he told us not to have a problem as long as we have reached into his office. Nothing is going to happen bad for us. Everything will be good. So let's not worry about anything. He gave us the assurance. One thing I I I love with Burundi, the police on the ground they are very tough. But when you get to the higher authority, unlike Kenya now how it is, the higher authority is the one who is even tougher. But now, for Burundians, when you get to the higher authority, the better it comes. Imagine if now you are taken to the president. You would have told me to get married there. <laughs> so, guys, mm, so it was, uh, I was still tense because I was not understanding. So, he left us. He went to consult with the higher authority. But he assured us that everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be good. And we had no choice apart from uh, believing him. And also on Genzi, Africa told me to believe him because as long as we are there, nothing will happen. Even if the cameras were taken, I was refusing to give the camera. Why would I give my camera? And I wasn't sure whether I'm going to get it back. But he assured me, told me, he's going to give me my camera back. So like, uh, I had to leave him I, and I have to believe his word. That's the only thing that I am. Uh, I, I know, guys, I don't know why I'm even stammering. It's because the, 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 the trauma is still in my mind. But the moment we sat on that seat of the higher authority, everything was good. I even felt like I want to hug that police officer. So the authority was very tough, 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 tough. The ground, but the, the inside the, the office, it was a good one. So also, um, my cameras, I couldn't be allowed to record out there. But in Genzi's 
camera he was recording uh, everything that was happening in case of anything but of, of which he had assured me that nothing will happen to us yep this is me on the next day after being arrested and released um how was the experience for me with the lower cops it was bad literally bad experience with the lower cops um uh, with the higher authority it was better and as i mentioned ah sorry the kikuyuni as i had mentioned earlier um the, the bigger authority in burundi it really works for someone and it's really good but for the lower authority in <clears throat> in burundi it's really tough for you so after being taken to the high authority guys i didn't continue with anything because my cameras were taken even genzi's africa cameras were also taken they were taken to the higher authority now remember the chief that you went to talk to he took our cameras to the higher authority of which he assured us that the cameras will be back and that's why i'm also here i'm here seated here filming and tell letting letting you know whatever happened so it took us like um because of course he's a he's a higher authority and he has so many cases that he's dealing with so we had to wait for some minutes so we waited for like uh 30 minutes and then he called us to his office and luckily enough the chief couldn't leave us without our case being solved first because he gave us the assurance and i was told whatever the chief authority gives you he keeps true to his word that's them and true to his word i saw so after like 30 minutes the the higher authority the general called us and he asked us questions of course i didn't understand kirundi and the france because i speak in english for him they were conversing with him he asked for my youtube channel name let me tell you guys a moment of silence uh i, I wanted him to spot me <laughs> I wanted him to hotspot me because I didn't have Bain Dollars and I didn't have Burundian line. So I was requesting him to hotspot me so that I can see my YouTube channel. But of course, that's what I would have done. So like, I was like, uh, he didn't hotspot me. Luckily enough, Genzi showed him his YouTube channel, my YouTube channel too. And he told us that um, we're not supposed to be filming me there. If we need to film from that place, we're supposed to be having Barua, Barua letter, a letter from the government to show us that we have the leeway to film in that place so of course uh, i didn't understand most of the conversations but he explained to me whatever was happening oh the guy was so cool the general officer was really cool because he was listening because genzi i remember him talking for like 10 minutes remember let me tell you guys this guy can talk i really wanted to know why he can talk that much without getting tired he was a journalist and you know journalists radio presenter they talk for four good hours non-stop so you can only imagine so 10 minutes to him was like a break so they really had conversations with him and the general was standing for the longest time his feet i really liked him he's a really, he's a handsome man but he's married of course and then i'm seeing how anyway <laughs> yeah so he was looking sharp old of age enough and I, it's like he was also leaving because it was past time and our cameras was down there so whatever i was clicking in my mind king, 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 king. i needed my camera officer please be done with everything that you're doing you give me my camera back my camera it's worth eighty thousand kenya shillings it's i saved five years to get that camera i don't want to know whatever you're telling me but please the general officer i need my camera <laughs> that is my bed medulla oblongata talking deep down i pretend that i'm hearing everything i'm following everything but deep down please i need my camera back meanwhile the officers other officers were waiting for me and meanwhile genzi was also getting off me because he was talking and talking and talking i don't know whether he wanted to be given work in that government place office uh-huh i don't know why uh, but I think in case he wanted us to go to the president, but I don't know, deep down in his heart. But who didn't want to meet the president? My God! Dining with the president, I would have fulfilled the word of God. Like, your talent will make you dine with the kings. My God. Mine has taken, mine has made me dine with. Um, do I have any kings? 
not yet. Please, if now you're a president and you're watching me, you better call me in your country and hang out with me. I'm a big name. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking about that. So, um, guys, now to cut this long story short, uh, our cameras were given back. Yay! <laughs> cameras were given back and we went back after a long await and we got we got the other officers were there they were the the the, the, the officers of i don't want to say the with the law authority they were there looking at us they were really wondering what's wrong with this woman and the good thing when these people are arguing even when they're talking bad about me i can't understand because i don't understand french baby i'm an english babe our country were colonized by british yeah yo baby i don't understand french the fathers i know about french is jemapool diana daisy and bonjour that is it so if they wanted to tell me anything i would have told them yeah afande jima pull diana daisy girl from nairobi i don't know anything from that another day bonjour 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 everywhere i go bonjour police bonjour toilet bonjour being sick bonjour oh and mercy i think mercy i don't know it's mercy something i don't understand mercy you guys correct me if you understand uh ki, 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 french, french correct me because uh, uh, because yeah yeah so um i told them mercy it is mercy or mercy or mercy i don't know but i will google because i'm interested in learning that culture i'm a lingual woman <laughs> did i say lingu i am a lingua yes now um because the story was hot a really quick fire let me tell you so we couldn't board my tattoos and remember in bujumbura uh, from where ngenzi lives to the, the, the where we were it, it's not that far it's like a 10 minute walk and of course because we needed to heal and heal and heal we had to work as we having conversations and now genzi proved himself to be a man enough because he didn't leave me and let me tell you he was enjoying me because i was saying i know my rights ooh, ooh, i know my rights let me tell you there is no rights that i know oh <laughs> don't be fooled no rights the only lights i know is the traffic lights yeah those ones i know red green and yellow but my rights i don't know especially i was in a but i think these countries also respect women and uh, that really helped me and language barrier it's a really bad thing so guys that is it i was released and i have my camera with me let me show you give me some tum, 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 tum. Give me some. Yeah, that's my DJI camera. I got it, baby. I got it. We back. Yes, yes, yes. Now we back. And Genzi also got his back his camera. His camera is a uh, GoPro. Yes, yes, guys. I need this camera. Yes, and we're here doing live like nothing happened before. And when I'm walking those streets of Bunjubra, I met with this police. And when I'm passing them because I mark their face, I'll be walking like, yes, it's me that you arrested. Dude, dude, it's me that you arrested. Yes, because of cracking the rules. But they are good. They remember me also. And we are good friends. Yeah, because even one of them, we exchanged contact. He started following me. He's a good person. I believe he's you're watching here. I don't remember your name. But you were seated there when I was outside and even gave me a high five. It's almost that it's because you had a, a police uniform. I would have hugged you. You know, I would have given you a gigantic hug. <laughs> Massive hug. Yes, yes. And um, thank you so much. I want to give shout out to the chief, Mr. Light Skin Chief and to the general officer. And of course, to my babe. Thank you so much for doing that. And of course... To me, for being a courageous woman. <sighs> that is it, guys. So, thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching. Continue subscribing, watching. And also, guys, I'm reminding you, please go watch Ngenzi's uh, YouTube channel, Ngenzi Africa. Please subscribe to its YouTube channel. Take him to 5,000. Please, please, please. I'm requesting you. Ah, support Kenyan, babe. Oh, I love you all. Thanks for watching.